Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called polynomials. The given question is find the zero of the polynomial in the following case and the given polynomial is px is equal to cx plus d where c is not equal to zero, c, d are real numbers. So guys let us see how we can find out the zero of the given polynomial. Here question has given us this polynomial. Question has given us px is equal to cx plus d. cx plus d. Question has given us this polynomial and question is asking us, question is asking us to find out, to find out when, to find out when this polynomial will be zero. To find out when this polynomial will be zero. Polynomial will be zero will be zero. Question is asking us to find out when this polynomial will be zero. And further question has also told us or informed us here this c, this c is not equal to zero and also c and d are real numbers. c, c and d, here c and d are also real numbers. This, these are extra things that the question has informed us, real numbers. So guys, let us see, let us see how we can find out. Now, to find out when this polynomial will be will be zero, that means here we need to find out, that means we need to find out here, we need to find out here, find out here, when px will be zero, when px will be zero. This is what we need to find out, when px will be zero. That is, that is we can say px is equal to zero we can write px is equal to 0. That This implies px is equal to 0 means this implies cx plus d is equal to 0. Why? Because px plus, because px is equal to cx plus d. This is what the question has given us. And if we are considering px is equal to 0, then this implies cx plus d is equal to 0. Hope guys, we understand till here what I am telling. Hope guys, it is very clear till here. Now, now what we got? We got cx plus d is equal to 0. Let us solve this equation and we can get our answer. So I can write, I can write or, or cx is equal to minus d. How? cx is equal to minus d? Just moving this plus d from left hand side to the right hand side. Or I can write x is equal to minus d upon c. How? Just I moved this c from the left hand side to the right hand side. So it got divided to d. It got divided by d. Hope guys you understood this. This is our answer. What we got? We got x is equal to, we got x is equal to minus d upon c. This is our answer. When x will be minus d upon c, we will get this zero of the given polynomial. So we can write our concluding answer saying that, so, so, the zero of the given polynomial so the zero of the given polynomial given polynomial is minus d upon c something like this you need to write in your own words to say that the zero of the given polynomial is minus d upon c hope guys you understood this this is very simple and very straightforward but still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe and let your friends know if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.